Welcome to mathlearners.com. In this video we are going to see how to find square root of uh, any number. Let's say suppose we want to find square root of 1, 2, 5, 4, 4. So from right hand side we make a pair of 2 so 44 will form a 1 pair, 25 will form 1 pair and 1 will be left as alone. So we can write this as 1, 2, 5, 4, 4. Now in the first column we have 1. So we want to find such number whose square root will be less than or equal to the 1 so we have only 1 as the square root of 1 is 1 so we write this as 1 and when we write the square root as 1 we write that same thing in the first column and that comes as 1 and the difference of 1 and 1 is 0 so that can be written with 2 and this one needs to be doubled so it will come as 2 so from now onwards this 2 will act as our divisor now this 2 will be divided by 2 so that comes as quotient as 1 and reminder as 0 now from now onwards when the first column after this vertical line is filled we need to calculate dwanda of each digit so dwandas of 1 is that is 1 square that will be 1 so this 1 will be subtracted from combination of 0 and 5 so 1 subtracted from 5 that comes as 5 minus 1 that comes as 4 and this 4 will be divided by our 2 so quotient will become 2 and reminder will become 0 so what we can say we follow a series of dwanders then subtraction and then division so again we repeat the process we calculate dwanders of 1 2 so dwanda of 1 2 is 2 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 2 that is that comes as 4 that will be subtracted from our combination of 0 4 so that will be 4 minus 4 that comes as 0 that will be divided by our divisor that is 2 so remainder quotient becomes 0 and remainder will be remain as 0 again we calculate dwanda of 1 2 0 so, so that will be 2 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 0 that comes as 0 plus 2 square that comes as 4 this dwanda will be subtracted by combination of 0 and 4 that comes as 4 minus 4 that comes as 0 again divided by 2 so quotient is 0 the remainder is 0 but we don't have any number so we can ignore that uh, 0 so this is our answer now we need to put a decimal point we know that if we have an odd digit in a square then the square root will have n plus 1 by 2 digits so as we are having 5 digits the square root will have 3 digits that is the decimal will come after 3 digits that is so the answer is 112.00 or what you can say the answer is 112 and you can say 12544 is a perfect square now let's take another problem let's say we want to find square root of 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 so we form pair of 2 from right side so it will be 89, 67, 45, 23 so the first column will have 23 
so we need to find a perfect square which is less than 23 so the perfect square which is less than 23 is 16 so the square root of 16 is 4 now we write this 4 as it is in the first column and we subtract 23 uh, we subtract 16 from 23 so that comes as 7 so that will be written to the left side of 4 and this 4 will be double so it comes as 8 so from now onwards our divisor will be 8 so this 74 will be divided by 8 so that comes as quotient as 9 and reminder as 2 and so now from now onwards we apply DSD that is Dwandas then subtraction and then division so Dwanda of 9 will come as 81 that will be subtracted from 25 that comes as a negative number but we do not want negative number so what we will have to do we will have to increase this reminder to increase this reminder we will have to decrease this quotient so 9 will become 8 and 2 will become 2 plus 8 that is 10 more about this how to play with questions and reminders can be seen in my video how to play with questions and reminders okay so now dwanda of 60 or dwanda of 8 will be 64 that will be subtracted from 105 that comes as 141 now this 41 will be divided by our divisor that is 8 so 41 divided by 8 gives quotient as 5 and reminder as 1 now we calculate dwanda of 85 so that is 2 multiplied by 8 multiplied by 5 that comes as 80 that will be subtracted from 16 which comes as negative we do not want negative so we will have to increase this reminder to increase this reminder we will have to reduce this quotient by 1 so it comes as 4 and the reminder will become now 1 plus 8 that is 9 so dwanda of 84 will be oh sorry yeah uh, dwanda of 84 will be 64 that will be subtracted from 96 that comes as 32 which will be divided by 8 so quotient will come as 4 and reminder as 0 now we calculate dwanda of 844 so that will be 8 multiplied by 4 that comes as 32 multiplied by 64 64 plus 16 gives us 80 that will be subtracted from 0 7 so again that comes as a negative so we will have to increase this reminder and decrease this quotient so this will become 87 so the end of 843 will be 48 plus 16 that is 64 that will be subtracted from 87 so this will come as 323 and which will be divided by our divisor 8 so the quotient will be 2 and reminder will be 7 now we calculate the window of 8 4 3 2 so that will come as 56 that will be subtracted from 78 so this this is 22 divided by 8 so quotient is 2 and reminder is 6 now dwanda of 8 4 3 2 2 will come as 16 32 32 plus 48 48 plus 9 58 that will be subtracted from 69 so that comes as so when 1 1 is divided by 8 quotient is 1 and reminder as this is the last digit we does not care about 8 so we need to put a decimal point now as there are 8 digits the decimal point will be after 4 digits so answer is 4843.221 so what we can say the number this number 2345678 is not a perfect square and the square root of this number is 4843.221.
So that's the answer. You can find more examples on my website www.mathlearners.com. If you have a question, please feel free to ask them. Thank you for watching this video.